and I'm a licensed clinical social worker. I live here in Half Moon Bay. I work for the University of California, Berkeley. I'm a doctorate student at the University of San Francisco. I'm a lecturer at Santa Clara University. And I come here with a lot of activism behind my work here with the community at Half Moon Bay. I'm Spanish speaking. And I came to the sole help of the family on my own. No community organization sent me. No department sent me, and I only say that because I stand here frustrated that in this whole entire situation, no one has come to the aid of this family in terms of an organization from the police department. And it's really sad that um, the family has suffered this serious, serious situation. I also have a family of law enforcement who I totally understand they have jobs to do, but in this situation, we really need to have a transparent investigation. We, the family is calling on um, a, a town hall meeting with the sheriff's department. We would like to request that. We deserve that. The community of Moonridge deserves that. The people of Moonridge deserve that. And we would like that to happen as soon as possible. And as I sit there looking, substation outside of these people's homes, the children that I work with in this community, the families that I work with, there's a substation, but there's not a mental health crisis to come out on a call when someone has a psychiatric emergency that has schizophrenia and ends up losing their life. This is unbelievable that we have a police substation, but not crisis county mental health on the coast. I know San Mateo County has it. I know they're very involved with mental health, but we need it here on the coast. And had we had it that night, it might have made a big difference and this family wouldn't be sitting here right now with the loss of their loved one. The mother's in Mexico or she would be in here right now. And I've sat there for two weeks seeing her grief, crying. And I'm a mom too, and I know you are our parents too. And today it's Yanita, tomorrow it might be one of your relatives, it might be one of our relatives here. My father-in-law has schizophrenia, he's passed now. But I know what it is to see a family go through that. Every day my clients that I work with, I know that they require medication, treatment, psychiatric support, counseling, and we need to give this Latino community the justice that they deserve by calling on a town hall meeting, responding to them with the sheriff, and literally taking apart this case by case and examining it with the justice that it deserves and giving it time and, and we ask you, Mayor and board, the City Council, that you really take this case seriously. I think this is one of the first time you see this many Latino families here in this um, city hall or in this building, and we're begging you today to please, to please take action. Thank you.